Easter Devotions for Easter Sunday, April the 9th, 2023. The watchword for the week is taken from Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1, and it declares, So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. In this passage, Paul encourages all believers to stay focused upon our risen Savior. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today, Sunday, April the 9th, reads, I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. Psalm chapter 3 and verse 5. The accompanying doctrinal text is taken from Mark 16 verses 9 to 10, and it reads as follows. Now after he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went out and told those who had been with him while they were mourning and weeping. On this Easter Sunday, let us hear what God would say to us through today's watchword. I read it again for us from the New Living Translation. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. As believers in the risen Savior, we have a peace and security that comes from being in right relationship with Him. It is a peace that comes from knowing that no matter what happens in this life, we have the assurance that all things will work out for our good. Indeed, it is written in Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. This is not a denial of the trials and tribulations that we face from day to day, but rather a calm assurance that Jesus is working out everything for our good. He himself said to his disciples in John chapter 14 and verse 27, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. No wonder then how David can say, while fleeing from his son Absalom, I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. This same peace is ours today when we place our hope in the living Lord Jesus Christ, the one who rose triumphantly from the grave on that first Easter morn, giving unto us the victory over sin, hell, and the grave. And as he prepared to leave this earthly realm, he left us in the care of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, who seals us and secures us. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. As a result, we too can smile through the storms of life, for he is in the vessel with us, assuring us of safe passage to a place he has gone to prepare for us. May we know this peace today as we worship our risen Savior. Let us pray. Great peace giver, often we become fearful of the storms of life which surrounds us when we take our eyes off you. Help us, like King David, to rest in the assurance of your abiding presence and know the peace that only you can give. Amen.